Here's a basic Gnostic formula that everyone has probably heard before. I am in the world, but I am not of the world. We've heard that before. That's from Gnosticism. Mm -hmm. And that's basically saying, I recognize I'm here. I'm in this motherfucker. I'm going to pay my rent. I'm going to eat just GMO food. I'm going to, you, you, you smack me, I'm going to smack you back. I'm a, I'm a spiritual being when you smack me. You trip my mother, I'm gonna fucking stab you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do, cause I am in this world too. Mm -hmm. But my thought makes me of it. Give him saying, my thought makes me of it. So there's 10% that's gonna act and react like every other human. Your human thought makes you of this world, a substance of this world. So every, and that's based upon your reactions. So Trayvon Martin is an act of this world. Your reaction makes you in it or of it. Are you of it? Yeah. Oh, Trayvon, put him on your page and, and we need to do this and we need to do that. That could have been my son and all that shit that we did says you're of it. When I'm in this world, I acknowledge it. I have compassion for someone whose child has died because I'm going to feel a certain kind of way if something happens to my child. So I, I have compassion for it, but my reactions, I don't do the same thing as I'm not of it. And every opportunity to not be of it, I exercise. So every, all this shit motherfuckers is mad about, I scarf at, just because I know my participation in it, my energy in that participation is feeding your, your, your jailer, mm -hmm. the, dem the demiurge mm -hmm. is feeding. It needs your worry. It needs your grief. It needs your thoughts, mm -hmm. your thoughts of what to do about planet earth. What should I do about black people? What should I do about black kids? What should I do about the, oh, save the planet, save the planet, all of that shit going green. Think about that shit. This ain't going nowhere. Right. It's not going to happen. Going nowhere if you were in a prison and people found out that they were in a flat world, like this guy's proposing, if they found this shit out, then you would say, well, if there's something that controlled and made this place, how could we destroy it? We're going green? No, let's do what we've been doing. That's all hype now. This would change reality. Completely. He says, if you found out you were in the flat world, the first thing people said, because they have consciousness, would say, how do we get out? And then they would say, if I'm down here, what did I do to get down here? And they're going to say, well, I can't remember nothing and no one else can remember nothing to do and get down here. So I must be trapped down here. I'm in a prison. Somebody kidnapped me because I don't remember getting sentenced. I don't remember, you know, niggas in America, we didn't ever have a, a trial. Mm -hmm. I, I never got sentenced. Um, and see, that's another thing too. The trial scene with my yacht. You go see Osiris. If, you're, if, you, if your heart isn't light as a feather, because they talk about spirituality. If it isn't balanced, light as a feather. Cause this, I have not stolen, I have not do that, I have not done it. That ain't physical things. Cause I have not taken a man's goats as one of them or some shit like that, or a man's donkey. Ain't no nigga you know got a donkey. That wouldn't even apply now if that was really happening. That was what they said of that day. But the point of what they symbolically were saying is when you have the realization, I have not stolen, I have not lied. I haven't lied, I haven't been here. As a human, I lied every day. I lied before I was three years old. Did you steal a cookie? No, ma. Knowing you got cookie all over you, you know what I'm saying? You shitting oatmeal cookies. So my, I ain't no cookie, it wasn't me. You lied. That means by that standard, you're gonna get eaten up by Ammon. Man then is a lifelong exile on a planet, which is a prison for all mankind. So when you say there's a flat earth and this flat earth theory, some of this shit lines up. They're saying this is a prison for all mankind. I mean, if it was around earth, then going to Mars right. would be relevant. They saying all that shit ain't real. Mars, all that shit. He got theories on it as holographic lights, then there's the book, Holographic Universe. They say all of that, gazillions of, they said there's more star systems with with planet with planetary systems than they are sands on every beach on this planet. Every sand on this planet, green, represents a star system. And each star can have, at least ours has nine planets. Right. So nine or more, and moons. That don't sound right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, to what end? So many possible realities and life forms for fuck sake, what? To what end? But 
us in this makes sense. Us in a, in this debauchery as this place and matter. See, Bobby Hemming used to say it all the time. Ain't no aliens. Ain't no other motherfuckers out there. It's just us. What you're seeing that could be interpreted as aliens are spiritual. And he showed me the word extraterrestrial before TV used to mean spirit. Mm. Extra star being used to mean spirit. Mm. Said that look of the gray that everyone sees now. He said that didn't exist until Crowley talked about a deity called Lamb. Mm. And you can look online and see Lamb, L-A-M, Crowley, Lamb, and see the deity is the template for what became the grays. So once they had that visualization and Hollywood put it on TV, everybody started seeing this gray man all around. Mm. My theory on the aliens and physical, when a nigga land in the middle of Times Square or downtown Atlanta, wherever the fuck, then I'm convinced. Until then, you can tell me all the theories you want until I see them. But I know I've seen personally spiritual entities. Mm. So then, this, I mean, basically we have to throw the whole series mysteries out. Well, the whole series, the whole series mystery, the whole series mysteries in any of that alien shit is all garbage. That series mystery is bullshit when he says some aliens visit. That is all bullshit anyway. They have even Degrassi, which is Tyson, Neil Tyson Degrassi, who they're now saying is an agent based upon his work for NASA. And this actually being a flat earth, all that other shit he's talking about is bullshit. Because they started explaining how, because the circle of the South, they said planes take longer to fly around the South than the North, which is closer to the circle. And nobody can explain that. Mm -hmm. But then Neil deGrasse started saying the earth is actually pear shaped. They got him saying, I'm like, oh, now they're explaining. So that explains why it takes longer here and shorter up top. So it went from circle to oblix to earth to pear shape. You see him spewing out this new information and we believe this shit. So he even said, when the white man went into, cause, cause, and I can see now that's some Asian shit cause every black person, myself included was like, yeah, that's right, tell him nigga. He said, when white people went into Egypt and couldn't explain what they saw, they said aliens did it. They wouldn't give those credit to black people. So that makes sense now why he would say that. Cause I'm like, wow, cause that's what I would say. That's what black people, that's what Bobby, anybody would say. But more likely that's what a black man would say. He's a black man. So he has to say that to be in line with as if he's telling the truth. So when he's not going to blame on the aliens, which is on NASA or something NASA would say, but he's going to say the opposite to almost seem like there's even dissension in a NASA point of view, which seems like a more realistic point of view for a black man to say white people couldn't figure it out. So they're going to say it's all aliens, but it was us. It was us, the black people and every black people is going, that's right. We love you as a black person and we love your genius as a black person. You're down. Because you told those white people it was aliens. Now we believe whatever you say about NASA, which is the hype. Which is the hype. Mm -hmm. But we co-sign with Neil. We we make a connection with them now. Because Na Na NASA, I mean, with this today, I mean, it, it, he's, he, he, NASA is nothing but a huge, uh, just a huge, a huge lie. That's the whole point. Created for this, but that spends a shit ton of money. Obviously, money is really not real. I mean, it's just, but they so called spend all this money, have these huge machines to put on this huge orchestration. Mm -hmm. That means shit. That's how it go. That's what it is. Don't mean nothing. Look at what's at stake. Again, they said if humans realize that they're on a flat planet. And they realized they're in prison here. That's what I was getting to. So you have to say, I don't remember doing nothing to get here. So that tells me, or innately, I feel I'm here against my will. And the fact that I'm ignorant of it, and there's all these barriers at the places I can supposedly get out, that means something's got me here. My whole entire life will now be dedicated with everyone else to find out what got me here. 
So that means anything in the economy is dead. I'm not going to work and act normal when I'm in a prison now, when I'm real, my li- my existence that has changed. Mm-hmm. So if I'm a religious person, I have to say there is a God. Now we're going to go hard on God. And we have now questioned that God because we're going to say it has to be a big deity or a mighty deity that made a place that is that's that we've been calling earth and we live on and we have is just too big for something big of us something else is out there and since i'm in prison here and it won't let me out it may not be good it cannot be good why would it do that why would it not tell me why i'm why would it not give me the choice to be here and we feel we have this choice because we have a soul that is dealt with in our mythology our soul made us conscious enough to say these questions if you show that to a monkey he wouldn't ask that he would just go back to his monkey life but to a human we would do everything to see what was on beyond that wall and try to do it so when the pope says something why would you listen to the pope anymore he's down here with you he's in the prison with you why would you listen to a president he's down here with you Donald Trump and Puff Daddy doesn't see Puff powerful anymore. They're just as stuck and just as ignorant as you. Why would you praise or look up to a king or bow down to a king? The people who've been dominating and running this world have no more power. You say the powerful one is the one that put us all down here. It changes our reality. So the the people that run the world is in their interest to think you live on the globe. And there are many other worlds that you are no longer centric to the universe because mm-hmm. that's the whole idea the whole idea was a, a, a earth centered universe when it became heliocentric heliocentric which is the sun that means there's more suns than a grain of sand with potential for at least nine planets mm-hmm. at the most in each solar system and there are more systems and gap all the little sort of galaxies. We're in a galaxy. And there's hundreds of thousands, millions of galaxies with thousands and thousands of suns. So that changes you from being really any form of important. Mm-hmm. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're just another motherfucker on the bubble and aliens. When they when they feel like thinking you're smart enough to talk, that's when they'll land on Times Square. Mm-hmm. Until then, they're not going to in- interrupt your evolution if you want to call it that Mm -hmm. now if you have an earth centered they call it heliocentric it made me start thinking and i'm gonna have to go deep now what was at not doing with this sun worship or this big one deity as a sun worship because remember they was worshiping many gods Mm -hmm. monotheistic in egypt at not comes in and says we're going to worship one god Mm -hmm. sun the sun now, the idea is NASA is what they call, or people who believe the Earth is round, is heliocentric. This heliocentricity seems that everything revolves around the sun. The moon revolves around us, and the Earth, uh, and and the Earth and the moon revolves around the sun. Pretty much, the Earth revolves around the sun. So, since the moon is revolving around the Earth, you know, it's it's all about this sun, right. heliocentric, the center of our. Uh, uh, galaxy is our sun. So then you get this sun worship, which I do know for this fact is a later th- thing in Egypt. Because you think these people are all about the sun. They were actually first worshiping the Sirius sun system, which is Osiris. So all those years of Osiris worship, they was worshiping the Sirius sun system. I believe it's in the book, Signs and Symbols of the Primordial Man by church ward where he said no they was worshiping Sirius but then people got dumber and dumber and couldn't grasp further concepts which is the soul and then they started worshiping the sun we see every day but they were not worshiping Ra at first that's later day Egypt Hmm. so that that was no matter what it was off well even the alignment of the pyramids with the star constellation right it's stupid if the earth is flat those are more than saying we're lining up with something special that's physically out there because that's a hologram if if the universe is a hologram what were they lining up with but they were still showing you how to figure out the puzzle 
of getting off this motherfucker. See, understanding the concept we laid down as divine are still talking about the Ryan Lyon is in the mind. Pineal, pituitary, and uh, 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 hypothalamus. Those are the three stars. So all of these things that they created on the planet that we say is divine and our special spots are within. The true way I was re in, the true Orion's belt is in the mind. So they were giving all these clues and it's still as above, so below. So even in the uh, hologram, that's still a key for how to get the fuck up out. It's like figuring out the method in Pac-Man. Remember you used to figure out the pattern? Mm -hmm. Well, you still won at Pac-Man, but technically Pac-Man's an illusion. You understand what I'm saying? Donkey Kong is an illusion. It's nothing but lights in a pixel. But it's the same in this illusion. There's still a pattern or a method or a system. And really, we say it all the time. It ain't about no pyramid and it ain't about no stars. It's within. Yeah. So we say it all the time. We just don't realize why we're saying it and what it really, really means. If you put it in this context, it's a flat earth and all this shit is an illusion. Now it makes more sense why it's really about within. All of these things in your surroundings are clues or how or what the ancients made as clues at leaving in the very environment how to get the fuck up out of it. 